Hey guys, this is Comic Uno, and today I'm doing a review for the Flash season premiere. So let's start talking about this episode. So here we get to see that Barry is not in the beginning of this episode uh, because Barry is in the Speed Force and. We get to see Team Flash, um, what they're doing without Barry. And we see Iris is really the person in the forefront fighting to try to um, live Flash's mission without Barry. And she really takes the words of, you know, keep running, moving forward from Barry, uh, from the season finale, uh, to heart. So she does not want to grieve, she's not dealing with those feelings, and she is doing her best to, to save her city. And... Then we get to see the samurai show up. He says, I want Barry Allen, uh, you know, or I want the Flash. It doesn't say Barry Allen, but I want the Flash. And, uh, you know, we get to see Wally try to pretend to be the Flash. It doesn't work. So, Cisco, with the help of Caitlin, because she has returned, uh, bring back Barry. But he's not exactly the Barry we know. He uh, is writing all these symbols, he's speaking gibberish, uh, but with the kidnapping of Iris, and not in a damsel in distress way, she does get kidnapped on her own, because she wants to get Barry to be Flash again, uh, you know, Barry's able to remember, and he is back, he's reborn, and he doesn't really have the grief that he used to have, and they're, they're ready to move forward, and we find out that the samurai was actually, um, actually created by our season villain, which is The Thinker. So, let's start talking about The Thinker first. Uh, the Thinker was kind of cheesy in, in my thought. I, I did not like The Thinker. I like that it's not a speedster villain, but at the same time, it doesn't mean I have to like The Thinker, at least at this point. Uh, I do like that it's kind of futuristic. Uh, it felt very Doctor Who-ish to me. It felt very sci-fi, uh, this villain. I guess we'll see where it goes, but the aesthetic and, you know, that ending just kind of feels like mustache twirling type villain, which I don't love. I like some deeper villains here. But the rest of the episode was really solid. I especially like Iris being in the forefront. Uh, you know, there's definitely been complaints that Iris has not been used enough in the show, but she truly is kind of the hero of this episode. But we also get to see the mechanics of Wally and Joe and, and Vibe working to try to um, fill up that hole that Barry slash Flash has left. And I really enjoyed that. Uh, there's some good emotions, obviously, between Barry and Iris. And I like the small moments in this episode, too, uh, in showing how close everyone is with Barry and how heartbroken they are. Like, that scene with Joe shaving, uh, Barry. Also, Joe calling Barry his son and saying, of course I miss him. We have to deal with this. And maybe we should have a funeral. Uh, you know, those moments were definitely very powerful. And even, uh, small moments like like Iris sleeping on the couch because she can't deal with those emotions I thought were really well done. So, this, again, the small moments really worked here. Um, also, I was impressed with Caitlyn. I, I like that they're, they're actually giving her a story. And I like that she kind of has this werewolfness to her powers that she tries to control the Killer Frost uh, because the Killer Frost keeps coming out, but she's still Caitlyn. And how is she going to balance all that? I think it's going to be a really interesting journey for her. So overall, I thought this was a very solid premiere. Looking forward to seeing where the rest of the season goes. And what I liked about this episode the, mo the most is it kind of brings the fun back to Flash. You know, we've definitely had some darker moments for Barry, especially last season. So it's nice to kind of get that tone that we love from season one of The Flash. But let me know in the comments below what did you think of about this episode. This is Comic Uno. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Don't forget to like my Facebook page. Also, description below, there are links for my comic book, Like Father, Like Daughter. And don't forget to like the Facebook page of Like Father, Like Daughter. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.